Good evening everyone, and welcome to the show. Today, we will be painting a beautiful forest. Now, let's start with some alizarin crimson and mix it with a dollop of titanium light. I'm sorry, girls. Now, let's start. Let's use some leaf brown to make the happy new trees. <coughs> I swear on everything that is holy, if you interrupt me one more time, I will haunt your children! I'm sorry, Mr. Ross. I'm sick. Well, now you're sick and you don't have health insurance because you're fired! Now, let's use some more titanium white and make the happy little clouds. Jurassic Park? Uh, no, sir. It's uh, down the hall to the left. Thank you. Now, that concludes our episode. Uh, Mr. Ross, I'm, I'm sorry, but I think we're going to have to refilm this episode. Since 1965, Gatorade has been fueling the world's greatest athletes, keeping them hydrated and at peak performance when it matters most. And now, Gatorade is ready to enter a new sports arena. And for the first time, we are proud to introduce our first eSports athlete. How do you not die? Hacker! Oh, yeah! Get right! Dad, I need a drink! Ah! What is that? This is a game review! Choppers! Oh, yeah! 360 dollars go! No! Lag! Grab on! Get off the internet! Ah! Ah! Ah, my gamer ankle. Ah, ah. Dad, go to GameStop. I need a new controller. Gatorade for the gamer in you. Man, that was such a depressing funeral. <laughs> Silence, fool. Show my home size red size friend Amigo Papuccino. You're right. I just missed Terry. <laughs> did, did you guys hear that laughing? No, you probably didn't hear anything. You probably just heard Terry. Can we just get our food already? Fine. Yeah, I'm a little hungry. Waiter over here, ready to order. Welcome to KFLA Fried Donalds. Can I take your order? Um, I'd like two number nines, uh, a number nine large, uh, number six with extra dip, uh, number seven, uh, two number forty fives uh, well with cheese, uh, and a large soda. Uh, okay, I didn't get any of that. Anyone else? No? Okay. Too sad to even eat. <laughs> mm, just go home. Yeah, it's not the same without Terry. In some ways, he kept this group together. I won't get my food. Well, sorry, but we had food at home. This is 
Oh my god. We've been robbed. <laughs> they took the room up. It's the worst day of my life. No! My animal crackers! They're all gone. I'm so sorry for your loss. Man, now we've got no food and no stuff. I know if Terry were here, he would always clean up after us and he would definitely clean this up. What's up? Okay, man? What's wrong? We've been evicted. <laughs> Why? Because we didn't pay rent. Terry was the one who always did that. For all I know, he was the only one with a job. At least Jessica still has a job. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Okay. That's probably a good choice. What's up? What happened? I got fired. <laughs> oh, God. How could this possibly get any worse? Why don't we just listen to some radio? <laughs> Widespread panic has gripped cities all over the world. The stock market is in free fall. The asteroid could collide with Earth at any moment. The point of impact is anticipated to be 431 Alabaster Road, Trenton, New Jersey. Wait, isn't that where we live? Not for long. We're gonna die. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is it, huh? This is how we do it. In a horrible sitcom? Sitcom? What do you mean? Oh my gosh, son, where my phone at? Get up. Oh my gosh, son, where my I can't hear Old Town Road, son. My music, girl, I can't hear Old Town Road. Where my phone at? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be my first solo win. Say my phone gone. It, it ran away, it just vanished. I don't know what happened to it. What do you, what do you mean your phone vanished? It's gone. What do you want me to do? I don't know, maybe try and help me find it? You know, you guys are too reliant on your phones anyway. I think, you know, you're, you're better off without it. Where, where'd my phone go? You can't get too reliant on them anyway. That's what you get. I was doing important things on that phone. Looking at minion memes. Uh-huh. Alright, we gotta figure this out. We gotta find out what's going on here. Oh my god! Is your phone alright? Ugh. Thank god my phone's okay. Ugh. Ugh. My phone! What you do is my phone! I do not want your phone! Apple Care! Apple Care! I need Apple Care! Like all of my memes are my in phone. one place. God. Oh my god, my candy crush. I was just about to beat my record. My AirPods. Missing something, everyone? Yeah, my phone. Exactly, my plan worked perfectly. What plan? Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to Nathan's Pranks. What do you mean, pranks? My phone! Yeah. Wait! Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why the B-movie is the greatest rated B-movie because it is unmuted. I can't take this. What? What's wrong with you, bro? Just these new darn phones and schools and stuff. I feel like I was born in the wrong generation, bro. That makes sense. I sometimes feel that way. I can't respect the good old days when we had our knights and heroes. When the world made sense. Wait, what? Like, you know, like, we don't need the internet or government, it doesn't make any sense anyways. Like, why can't we go back to the good old days? That makes no sense. The past was terrible, and we all know it. You know what, just to prove you wrong, I'm gonna go back to the past.
Wow! It works! Magnificent for no good reason. Just a castle. I'm gonna go raid it. It'll be fun. I'll live left. What in the? I have returned from the Holy Crusade, comrade. Okay, that's that's interesting. We traveled far. <coughs> Are you okay? You don't seem well. We, we visited great temples and holy sites in the name of the Lord, burning them down. Are you 100% sure? We because, I mean, you're coughing up blood in front of me. We, we killed heretics in front of them. <laughs> Forget this. I want the place. This is why you're my favorite classmate. Alright everybody, before we start today, there's a new student that I'd like to introduce you to. <laughs> That's hilarious! You're just as funny as Rex! It's time to play Save Up! Save up. Welcome to Save Up, where you risk your entire life savings for some stupid game show that we made right on the spot. Anyways, our four contestants today are Bert, who's trying to pour himself a new chicken nugget or something, I don't know. Thermo, who's trying to get himself some new pizza rolls. Brian, who wants his college tuition. And Car, who wants a mustache. new, who wants a new bicycle? Mustache. Anyway, my name is Banks, and I'll be my, or Lucianut if you really want to call me formally. <clears throat> and we'll have to start with Burnt. Burnt, 
What's the color of an orange? Orange? You are absolutely correct, my good man. You get to keep your money. Thermos, you're up. Who won the space race? Louis Armstrong. Ah, it was Neil Armstrong. Look, would you like to put money in a jar or face challenge? I'll do the challenge. All right, bold one I see. Looks like you have to head to the brownie standoff where you have to look at this brownie and do not eat it. Very fun challenge indeed. Ryan, why are you? What? Why are you? What does that mean? Would you like to put money in the jar or face the challenge? Money in the jar, I guess. All right. <clears throat> Cap. Your entire life savings, sir. Thank you, car. Speaking of which, car! What does E equal? Square nuggets. Ah, close one. It was MC Square. Would you like to put money in a jar or face a challenge? Uh, challenge, I guess. All right, looks like you'll have to head to the face and floor face off challenge where you roll over, try to cry, and cry a lot, regardless of your challenge. Anyways, <laughs> ignore that cry, my good man Bert. Bert? What do sponges do? Sponges. Soap water. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Man, you are on a roll with this. Hey, Thermos, how's that brownie tasting? Tastes like failure. Correct, you are absolutely right. All right, Brian. So, simple question, blue bus. Um, yes. You are absolutely wrong. I mean, how can you mess up with such a simple question? All right, since you picked Money Jar last time, looks like you have to face prehistoric basketball. Ooh. How exactly is the prehistoric? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Get him, boys! Get him! Get him! Beat him up! Why did they get all the easy questions and I get these garbage, unanswerable ones? Well, actually, I'm glad you asked. Because these are actually really complicated mathematical equations that, that even some of the most brilliant minds for thousands of years. This demonstrates raw talent. Saucy, raw talent. Anyways, a car. What was my first full name? I'll allow Shinut. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, well, Bert wins because he answered a whopping two questions, correct? Looks like you have the money jar that I forgot to close. Yeah. Free money, 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 money. Free money. Money. Dollars. Capitalism. Yes, I do. <laughs>